Here, you already know what it is. You're listening to the Urban Product. It's your boy DME. It's your boy Cozy Rich. And how we doing today? Living my best life, per usual. You already know how it be. Just got back from Vegas two hey. days ago, bro. When I tell you that shit was a movie, was it? That shit was a movie. Like, oh my. Like, <laughs> 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 well, yo, let me tell you. Saturday night, the last night I was actually there, fam. We, me and my boys left the crib around like 9.30. We didn't get back till 6.30 p.m. or a.m. Mm. Mind you, we leave or our flights were around like 12 and we had to leave the crib around like 10. Mm -hmm. So like, it was crazy. Saturday night, went to Dre's exclusive ass club. $175 to get in. Buy my tickets per four. <laughs> yeah, I bought my tickets. <laughs> no, that's for dudes. Wait, wait, that was only wait, for wait, dudes. Wait, wait, wait. It was 175 to get in for dudes. 175? 100 for women. Wait, no, no, no. We're not just gonna skip over that. So, is 175 bills just to get into a club? Yes. Fuck. I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. So it was 175 to get into the club for men. 100 for women. It was a Meek Mill performance. So that it, like he was performing at the club. Uh, he ain't come on okay. till three a.m. though, and the club opened at eleven. So <laughs> Meek Meek was on his nigga time. Uh -huh. So um, essentially it was lit. Nice people. Um, all the NBA players were there: LeBron, Anthony Davis, John Wall, Bradley Beal, Jordan Clarkson. Like you uh, saw all of them. I saw all of them. I hey. dapped up Bradley Beal. Hey, Anthony Davis is the tallest motherfucker I've ever seen in my life. Rondo was there. Um, who else? Floyd Mayweather. Man, this man had four watches on straight diamonds, just dancing on his wrist. His neck straight ice i was like i've never never seen so much money before just damn like that man is rich now everyone nothing. had their entourage you had john wall throwing up gang signs <laughs> Yo. and bro when i tell you like once the nba players came all you just saw was shorty's flock of course shorty's flock it was crazy in vegas like yo. straight clout and i I'm, I'm missing mad nba players too there was at least 30 was mellow there I hope not. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Shoot. But like PJ Tucker, Bobby Portis, Jordan Clarkson, um, Eric Moreland. That's just a couple more. And I'm no one. Kelly Oubre was there. Yo, everyone was there. It was crazy because it was Summer League this weekend. Yep. It just started. So it made sense for all of them to pop out. Mm -hmm. I was expecting to see a little bit more celebrities, but. Apparently Chris Paul was there too, but I didn't see his short ass. I saw um I saw Damien with Damien. So yeah, Damian Lillard was there. He wasn't at the club, though. I don't think he's a club person like that. But, um, bro, it was a great atmosphere, a great vibe. Meek killed his performance. Like, it was lit because we got front row. Like, mm -hmm. we got to just see this man up close and personal. Like, mm -hmm. man did his thing. Another great, um, great aspect about Vegas was just, like, bro, people there are mad friendly. Like, the minute me and my boy Chris got off the flight, we, had, we hit an Uber, right? Or a Lyft. Our Lyft driver immediately, as soon as we got in. You want to hit a dispensary? <laughs> <laughs> you want to go to the dispensary? <laughs> Bro, I was like, by all means, please. <laughs> Bro, the loud out there. Crazy. I, I, I burned one, one, uh, one, Fonto, one Fonto with uh, my man Gerard and Chris of some head cheese. I've, I've never heard of that. Bro, I'm telling you, one, one L had me him and chris out like a light like straight zooted was it like cheap or was it expensive um it was i think 54 and eighth that's not bad at all it was either 50 or 64 and eighth uh, dispensary? dispensary okay yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i was remembering it was dispensary because i just yeah. thought about it was like i remember eighth, back in the day I remember, like, I, know, mm. I remember back in the day i know people who were selling eighths for 50 yeah, yeah. So like, like I'm, even Bridgewater, yeah. they were doing that. <laughs> so so like, yo, I'm, I'm not even. I was, I was great. People fan. watching, you know exactly who I'm, I'm talking to. You, yeah, you watching. I'm talking to you, fam. <laughs> Never got me. <laughs> All I'm gonna say, I'm gonna wrap it up with this. I'm gonna wrap it up with this and say, everyone needs to experience Vegas at least once in their life because there is nothing like it. Absolutely nothing. But now, I'm, how yeah, is I'm, it with like gambling and shit? Oh, so I, w I only play blackjack because that's the only card game I know how to play, and it's the easiest one to win. Fam, tell me how it was up like $300. I lost all of it within like four turns. That sounds about right. Yeah. That's I mean, Vegas. <laughs> yo, I was, in, I was in the casino after. I forget what we did. I think we hit the club, and I, we went to the casino after. Mm -hmm. Bro, I started with five, $10. Ended up with $300 something. Dollars. Damien and Juju were like, just walk away from the table. Go cash out. <laughs> I'm like, bro, what you mean? I'm up. I'm, I'm only going to play two more rounds. Like, straight like that. I'm only going to play two more himself. rounds. Bro, that first round, I bet like $60. Dealer had 21 off rip. I was like, wow. 
So next round, I bet $120 because, you know, I got to get my 60 back plus some. I lost all that. I was like, I ain't going to go out losing $180 like that. I'm going out on a win. All in. L. All your shit. <laughs> L. <laughs> Straight L. <laughs> like, yo, I should have used my common sense because that was stupid. Your first, I walked it out was your first time too, right? Yeah, first time at a casino. Yeah, like yeah. a real casino and all that. Yeah, so. he was feeling himself. I was went in all bro, in. He thought he had a people, high hand. He me was and the like, people at the table touch me, bro. I had Shit. two. I had two older white guys with me, like gassing me up, like yo, because uh, earlier before in the mm-hmm. night, like an hour before, I made a like dangerous ass call. I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna bet mad money here. Everyone's looking at me like you're crazy. I'm gonna bet with you too because you you got the energy right now. You've been winning, <laughs> got and we energy. all won. And everyone was like, "Yo, shout out to you!" So I was feeling myself. I was like, "Yeah, I got the magic touch." It's like an episode of Fresh Prince. That dealer, that dealer, <laughs> and those cards humbled <laughs> me so quick, so quick. But it is what it is. But yeah, at least you had a fun time. That's I mean, all that matters, right? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try to make Vegas a yearly trip now, especially around this time, Fourth of July, and like Las Vegas this weekend, because yeah. I already know what I need to go do that I didn't do next time. But now here's my thing, right? You said you were there with all these celebrities, and you didn't think that was the perfect time to network. Just because I saw them doesn't mean I was able to. Oh, I would have been in them. there. I would have been like, you're, you think, you, whoa, 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 LeBron, so VIP, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. you think you're getting a VIP? <laughs> First of all, LeBron had. I couldn't even see LeBron. I I'm saw him, that bitch. <laughs> I saw him. I saw LeBron go to his VIP, and then he disappeared behind all the dudes in front of his VIP. John Wall, you weren't getting a John Wall because he had at least seven hundred niggas around him. Throwing up gang signs and shit. And I've been like, yo. Yo, what? I got this podcast, <laughs> right? Go, you think they want to hear about that when they get lit, Boston, spending money? You feel me? Um, it's called the Urban Product. You know, we talk about y'all sometimes. You know, when you suck and when y'all doing good. You You're going to say that to Of course. Okay. Straight up. Let me know Give how it a goes. listen. Let me know how it goes. I know if I, I'm gonna know it's fire if I hear LeBron listening to it on his IG and he's going like with the do-rag. Yo, these niggas talking that shit, bro. <laughs> I mean, I can't imagine LeBron bobbing his head up and down to nah, talking. When, I mean, to my vibe of the week, he will. Okay, shit. here we go. Here Yo, we go. I'm out here, fam. LeBron, I do not endorse Ask this. Ask about me. <laughs> By the way, viewers, we're still working on that mixtape, that rap battle mixtape between me and Dev. First six songs gonna be him. Second six songs, you know, gotta be say the best for last. I'm gonna murk this man, but uh, coming soon. So um, yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> so my man J Cole came out with a crazy album. I know yeah. we was talking a whole lot of shit about it last week, the Dreamville album. Mm-hmm. What was your, you know, it dropped Friday. So, um, what was your thoughts? Um, so the album dropped Friday morning. I think I listened to it on my way home from work and I won't lie. The album exceeded my expectations. I remember last week I came in here saying, I don't know how I was going to feel about the album because the posse cuts wasn't really sounding that dope, but First of all, let's just talk about the intro. Yeah, I was about to say the intro set, the intro. intro set the intro. The intro set it, it up, gave me everything I needed to know. J. Cole killed like, his ah, verse. Fam, all killed three it. of them killed their verse. What a T. Killed it. Yeah, fact. All three of them killed their verse. And I like what they did uh, to start it off because I didn't even know Loot was from North Carolina. Obviously, Cole and the baby are from Carolina. So Man, the baby that's how snapped. that works I'm out. Sorry. He, yeah. he kept the same flow as always, but it was on that beat, I don't know. It just did its thing. I know exactly what I you're was talking like, about. Okay, I replayed just his part. I was like, when that beat drop mm, right, okay and the sample was so cool too you didn't even know it was about to be a crazy drop you feel me oh i knew it was about to be crazy you i can't didn't. start off now with a song with a sample like this like you know it's a sample yeah but like you know some crazy shit about to like, come on like just being in the beginning of a um this sound like, like a joe Co- j cole dreamville album i thought it was gonna give me in like this, this north carolina like sound song. Yeah, but I didn't exceed like the the beats. Are, oh, like nah. I saw the names on the track and I was like, "There's no way." <laughs> There's no way the baby's rapping the baby on something like this. On a track, like. <laughs> hey, this shit was fire. Yeah, I fucked with it. All right. Hey. Yeah, producer, fuck this shit up. Nothing new under the sun, nobody fucking with sun. I got a couple of sons, a couple of guns, a couple of niggas that bust Yeah, that was hot. That's hot, man. <laughs> Bro, imagine, basically what you gotta do is imagine that, but like times five, and that's me. What? Imagine what Cole is spitting and how he sounds. Upgrade that times five, that's young Rizzy. Me. Yeah, so if you if you <laughs> upgrade voice 
<laughs> if you upgrade Cole's voice and his and Dude, everything, you guys stupid? Are you crazy? You don't want to learn. So like, <laughs> you're bugging. Me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's great. If I had a feature on this track. Yeah, that would have been you. I would have. You would have killed that. About, you wouldn't have been playing Cole. You would have been playing me off rip. Oh, that's great. That's. <laughs> Wait, hold up. This part. Okay. When I heard this part, I was like, "Who the fuck is this?" And then, then I he heard. Started rapping. I was like, "I need to know who this is." No, I heard a little bitch, and I was just like, "Oh, you talking about Kendrick?" Yes. Oh, hey, fam. When I said, you "I really got, said who is this?" <laughs> well, yeah, because I heard the beginning, because I was like, he "That he can't be that. Kendrick." But then I heard, "Hey, little bitch," and I'm like, "Yo, that's Kendrick, fam." Tell me why I went through the entire song. Even though he wasn't listed as a feature, I went through the entire song just waiting for a Kendrick verse. So maybe a little Kendrick outro or something. Because the fact that, that Kendrick is on the first song of the fucking album, I was like, oh, you finally giving niggas what they've been asking for for years. I'm niggas have been sure asking for really. the Kendrick and Cole collab. And I thought for a second they gave it to me on the very first song. I'm Ooh, that was hype. He didn't appear on the album after Nah, that. he wasn't. Yeah. He That was the... I was that was the say, craziest yeah. tease of my life. Fam. I was happy he didn't get a verse. Fam, I got blue balls as a music listener, bro. Pause. That shit was crazy, bro. I said as a music listener. Nah, that's I still nah. How do you, you can't play that? Are you stupid? Are you dumb? Nah. nah, fam. Nah. You can't be teasing people with that shit. <laughs> Niggas were waiting for that shit, and I thought I got it. Overrated. It's all good. Yeah, he killed the chorus though. I think. Uh, yeah, I thought Kendrick would have killed it if he uh, had a verse. Nah. But then you had my dog over he here. He would have. He would have had to switch up the whole thing and everything. Mm -hmm. What? Nope. Okay. Nope. I'm not a Kendrick fan like that. I'm sorry. I hear you. I hear you. Tell me who you with. Hey. Same flow on every song. It's always the same flow. In. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a different beat this time. Yeah, he did his thing, man. What's crazy? I heard this verse. Fucking, I already, I already saw the Chilla video in my head. Like, you know how the baby made the yeah. Chilla videos? I heard this shit. Yeah, I can see the Chilla video of the baby killing. <laughs> but you know what's crazy? What's crazy is that um, I was looking at this thing on Twitter or some shit, and then. It said, anytime people said, yo, the baby is this or the baby is that, he would always come back with some crazy ass, like, comeback. He was like, yo, I will murder you in front of your, I will murder you in front of your loved one. Like, he says that shit in a yeah, rap. giving them evidence. Yeah, he's like, I, like I don't even notice it until I go ahead and listen to it. I'm like, well, I, the baby said what? <laughs> like, Man, he's himself like, on his music, no pull. Yeah, but I fuck with him. He did his thing. And it's a big thing to be, um... On the intro of this what shit. What was your favorite track? Nobody knew. My favorite track, I had two. I had Sacrifices, um, Earth Gang, J. Cole, Smino, and Saba. Fire. That shit. I like was, PTSD. Whoo, I PTSD like, was a dope track. I like too. that. I, that was um that was one of my favorites. I have two too. PTSD and then um what's it called? Swivel. Swivel was a dope track too. Swivel. Yeah, to keep it a buck. I knew of Earth Gang. I've never heard that man. When I saw Earth Gang, They're I don't know. They're a duo, what, duo, two people. Gang? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, that makes sense then. <laughs> yeah, I never, I ain't never heard of them before, but I was like, okay, okay, mm -hmm. it was killing it on the track. Like, yeah, right. they killed it on this album. If anything, the they entire did. album, anything that Earth Gang was featured on, they murked it. And that's another thing. This album really made me fans of um, Earth Gang and Buddy more because Buddy is all over this album too, and all of his parts were fire. Like my favorite tracks are Sacrifices. In 1993. 1993 is a fucking hilarious track. Um, probably the best. No, I'm not going to say the best, like, stoner anthem right now. Or, <laughs> but it, it's just, like, a really good, like, weed track. You feel me? Like, I listen to that shit, and I'm like, yeah. This is exactly how a cypher would go if people were, like, rapping because people smoke in a rap cypher. And I'm like, yeah, that's exactly. Don't you dare disrespect my vinyls like that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I was like, don't you dare disrespect my vinyls. Mm -hmm. Man had the audacity to place his kicks on Astroworld out of all albums. That's wild. Astroworld, <laughs> Astroworld's replay value hasn't been the same for me. But that's besides the fact. I mean, that's after it being almost a year old. You're, it's not even saying. a year old. It's going to be a year old, like, in, like, two weeks. I still bump nothing was the same. 
Well, yeah, because take you're a light skinned, dark skinned nigga. I still why. bump Take Care. Well, you're a Drake. Yeah, you're a Drake stand, fam. I'm, you're listing all Drake albums. You're a Drake stand. No shit, you're gonna bump all. I this still thing. bump Ross's last last album. Yeah, because he hasn't given us an album since. <laughs> There's reasons for everything, brother. This man got an answer it's for okay. everything. Who, of course. All right, you know what? You right. You right. You right. <laughs> I respect it. But it's okay. Um, you said your favorite track was PTSD. PTSD and uh, Swivel. PS- PTSD and Swivel. I, I was yeah. gonna say the intro, but I was just a cop out. Can't pick the intro. I'm sorry. I mean, now you can. A lot of people to, have. Exactly. Okay. I can't. I can't do. I can't do what the mainstream media is doing. I do what Darnell wants to do. <laughs> <laughs> not doing it so uh yes yeah, sorry um one thing that another thing that i liked about this project is how the features were like used and how they were handled you feel me like i like the fact that it was just a track with young nudie and j cole sunset i really fucked with that because i felt like j cole went into nudie's bag and like because that beat sounds like a nudie beat that mm-hmm. didn't sound like a cold beat at all and i and i fucked with that I fucked with that. They did exactly. That, they knew what Nudie could rock with. They knew what he would kill. And Cole was like, yeah, instead of Nudie hopping on our tracks, I'm going to hop on his track and I put that shit like on the Cole album. I feel like Cole did that the entire album, though. Like, you think so? Yeah. Because if you think about it, like, his style, like, the way Cole is, he's versatile as fuck. Like, mm-hmm. He can rap on any beat and make mm-hmm. it sound great. So him catering to other artists' flow and style and beat choice it makes sense because, like I said, you can kill anything. Mm-hmm. And if you're catering to them, they're obviously supposed to kill it and should kill it. Yeah. So if, as basically as a whole, you're making a great track, and we all know Cole is great. So if you're highlighting the great aspects of another rapper, you're going to get them popularity, you're going to get them some views, you're going to get them some listeners, get them some fans. So mm-hmm. that's why I feel like he did say it like that. Were there any tracks that you didn't like on the tape? The, what was it? Hold up. Um, Lambo truck. It started out way too slow. Like um, I feel like the content of that track. Bro. I, I, I hear you, but the way it started off is just like, wait, <laughs> you want yeah, to stop? Yeah, the hook wasn't. Yeah, I'm just like, nah. Yeah, it could have been a better hook. <laughs> I'm sorry, like it's just. No, I, I agree with yeah, you on like, that because I think the verses were fire, but the hook like you, definitely you got to get, and that's the first like start of the. That's the start of the song. Yeah. So it's just like you got to get through that and. Like, I don't even want to listen to that when I start the song. So it's I just like, that. I press skip immediately. I so that's that. really, like, the worst song on there. But like you said, Damn. the content of the verses was fire. It's just the chorus. Mm, nah. I, I wasn't doing you. it. Um, I didn't like Oh Wow Swerve. That was, uh, <clears throat> I think, Cole, Max O Cream, and Key. Um, yeah, I just... I don't know. Like, I, I heard Key's uh, hook, and I'm like, yeah, that sounds like what Key would do. And then I heard Max O Cream, and I'm like, yeah, that sounds like what they would do. But it just didn't feel like it belonged on the album. You feel me? It felt like it could have been a cool interlude, like, if that track was completely separated from WoW. So, like, if Oh Wow and Swerve were two separate tracks, I feel like, yeah, Swerve would have been a cool little interlude because it didn't sound like the rest of the album at all. But I think that's my thing. Um other than that, <clears throat> yeah, Wells Fargo, I didn't really care for Wells Fargo either. It sounded like it was a fun track to make, but as a listener, yeah, <clears throat> didn't really seem that special to me too. But overall, good album. One thing that stood out to me that we were saying a lot of last week is the fact that we said this album's going <clears> to <throat> incorporate at least 20 songs. It was 18. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised he did that. So he, I guarantee you he left a bunch of artists off this shit. Yeah. And I wonder how they feel about that. Like, I really do wonder how they feel about it. Like, you think they're reaching out to Cole like, what the fuck? I mean, like you made me come out all the way out here, or I feel like Cole's just gonna make like a mixtape or something with and just add those on there. I mean, my or thing just with drop that the singles. Is, my thing with that is if I see, um, if I see that I was if I didn't make the album, I would think like, oh, okay, I'm that just gives me no, no, no. I feel I, like I that just I'm gives trash, me bro. motivation to get better. That gives me motivation to get but better. That means my verse wasn't the, hard enough. If you, feel you me? see all the rappers and artists on this album, there's at least twenty. Mm-hmm. How many people came out? Twenty One Savage wasn't on this, didn't he pop out? And I, I don't, I don't know. Rega- I'm but I know, sure, I'm pretty sure he was in there because I remember Cole saying like he was with his kids, and uh, I forget what. No, that was, was different. That wasn't the Dreamville that sessions. Wasn't Dreamville. That no, was, was just their just own different. private session. Oh, all right. Regardless, yeah. we all know there's people that got left out. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I, Ross I, was at the sessions and he's not on the album. Well, Ross, we all know. Wale, Ross, you feel me? Ross and Wale don't need this. Black, they don't need Stiz. this. Stiz. 
We're going to talk about his, his eyes later. <laughs> don't get me started on his. Just, yo, don't get me started. Mm-hmm. But I'm just saying, like, me personally, if I was in that stool, I put in the work I feel like. And then I have to listen to this album and not hear anything I put or any any influence of me. I think, like, damn, he doesn't need, he, A, doesn't appreciate what I have. Or B, I'm just trash and I need to step up. So I'm gonna take your your what you said like yeah I'm gonna need to step up but I'm gonna think realize like, like yeah I am trash mm-hmm. so that's why I need to step up mm-hmm. not not the fact that oh he just didn't want to put me on so you know what I mean let me just get better no like I hear you because like that's why um, with these songs it was kind of like it was competitiveness you feel me like. I think there were over a hundred songs made, and like we said, only eighteen made the album. You feel me? I so know how they go through that decision making. They were literally ten days of recording, and they just all and just no. I mean, like, that. how do you how pick they choose which songs? Like, that's <clears> the one. I, they definitely sat through, listened through all them shits. I think what happened was I don't think Cole was there for all those sessions to keep it a bug. There's I think no way he was. Man, he was definitely there for like most of those sessions, but for a couple of them, I feel like he just heard something. And he went back later. He was like, yeah, I'm going to add a verse into that later. Was like, oh, that shit's hot. I'm going to add a verse into that later. I don't know. That's what I think. Um, but, yeah, I think they just kind of, they still wanted this to, to be a Dreamville album. So they were obviously making their key artists the main priority. And they wanted to give them the spotlight. So I think they just chose the songs where they kind of took over. And, like, a couple other people helped. You feel me? I hear it. But, yeah, this, I still want to know. This is what uh, what I want to know. I want to know if the artists, right, all these artists, if they made tracks that didn't get chosen, if they have the permission to release it themselves. Because do you know how many collaborations we didn't hear? Is it under a label? Is Dreamville the label? Yeah, Dreamville is the label. So I don't know if everything they record belongs to that label. I was going to say, it definitely does, bro. (laughs) <laughs> that's I, a power move that's I a power move by Cole if he did that <laughs> yo he's, a, he's on his bird man he facts cause like I wanna that. know yo there's definitely collaborations that we wanted to see that didn't make the album but we still wanna hear it like I wanna hear yeah, whatever Black did in that it. studio I wanna hear whatever Cousin Stiz did I guarantee at that you we're studio. gonna hear it on me? their individual albums That's and that's what I'm hoping like I want all the songs that didn't make it like for the collaborations I want the artists to all have like ownership of it so they can release it on their own like for example cousin Stiz, um well, we're going to talk about him later but i know that his album is supposed to be coming out soon because it's already done what i want for cousin Stiz, hopefully good is music. yes obviously that but i'm also hoping that whatever they whatever he did at that session at least one of those songs can make it on his album if dreamville allows him to take one of those songs because I can't just think that, yo, I was there for 10 days and all the songs that I was a part of is just sitting in a folder somewhere and never going to be heard again. That that doesn't sit well with me. You feel me? That doesn't sit well with me at all. So I hope we get to hear everything soon. Know That's me, you, yo. Know what you're getting yourself into. That's all that means. If I, if I was always yo, there, yo, you can't tell me I put... Especially, ooh, imagine being the one of the niggas because there's some people that... um. And didn't wasn't there for the whole ten days. They only came on like one of the days, or like they stayed like for two days. And if those dudes made it on the album, and I was there for all ten days, and I didn't make it on the album, ooh, you better give me all that shit. You better give me all that shit. You better give me a check for all the time I wasted. Nah, you only get a check for what ends up on the final product. So you better give me a check for all the time I wasted <laughs> if I was there ten days. And you didn't put me on the album. You put someone who was there on for one day. Kendrick was there one day. Oh, Kendrick's making the album. You ain't you ain't. Kendrick was there one day for this. Like, yo, don't play, don't play with me. If Drake slapped it on me. there, we finally got that Drake and Drake would have been there for one day too. We if he was there for one hour, he would have like, made yo. it on the album. Like, yo. Ah, but and, whatever. But like, that's also not that bad too because there's a bunch of artists on this album that I haven't heard of, and the album put me on to them. Like, Guap Dad Four Thousand, I never heard of him before this album. But he killed a lot of hooks on this shit. And some of his verses were pretty fire, too. And who else did I get hip to because of this album? Earth Gang. Yeah, Earth Gang. I knew about them, but I w- didn't really listen to them. But yes, now I'm a fan of them. What was I'm Tyler a fan the of Buddy now. shit called? Uh, Igor. Igor, okay. Yeah. I don't know why. I just kept thinking of Tyler the Creator for some reason. When I- There was a song on there called Earth Gang, wasn't there? On what? Igor. 
Earthquake. Earthquake. There we go. It's close. <laughs> I random like the is connection. Up. Random is up. I, don't know. Yeah. I like the, the connection. Um, but yeah, overall, good album. I'm happy with they. Out of ten. Out of ten, I get a seven. Because yeah, it could have been better. Seven. Because yeah. there's a lot of collaborations I didn't hear. But the intro and now I feel like if you start the album well and you end the album well, then you did a good job. I only didn't like maybe one or two songs out of an eighteen song project. So in my opinion, I feel like that's not bad at all. So So basically what Devin is saying is if you get a fire intro and a fire outro, your album is at least a seven. Well, no, but like answer me this, right? Name a song name an album that had a bad intro and still ended up being a good album. I'd have to go through my phone because there's a lot of albums. Yeah, but tell me what. Tell me this is a probably a fact. Every fire album you can think of probably had a fire ass intro because the intro sets the well, tone if it's for the album. Fire album, I would the whole thing would have to be fire. Yeah, but the intro is always fire special. The whole thing being fire. How you start a project is so special. Oh fam. yes, so I'm like I mean, like I understand the intro that. is the intro was key. the most important aspect because that's what grabs the listener, the listener's attention. Yeah, that's what makes me want to listen to the whole thing. Gives me hope. Like, all right, the intro is fire. Second song is trash. All right, maybe the third song might be fire. Mm-hmm. That was trash. Maybe the fourth song might be fire. <laughs> that was trash. All right, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, that's usually how it goes. Like, Facts. Real shit. But yeah. you're right. You're right. You're right. I was trolling. <laughs> I was trolling. I was trolling. <laughs> um, anything else to say about the Dreamville? What about what would you give for the rating? Seven. Seven? So we're at a mutual understanding for that? Yeah, but I'm a, I'm a tougher grader than you are. Yeah. So okay. like a seven is good for me. Okay. <laughs> I don't Seven's know. Like, for me. I don't know if that's like a job or something. Like, I'm not, a tougher grade. <laughs> it ain't a job. I'm just saying, like, you know, I'm a, I'm like the Simon Cowell, and you're like the. I'm definitely Randy. Yeah, I was about to I'm say, Randy. Randy. <laughs> Yo, Randy. I'm like, you got it, baby. <laughs> I'm just like, nah, that was shit. No, start over. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, anything else going on in the world? Let's see. The Limo Mermaid is black. Yeah, hey, representation. I mean, bitch. I mean, I'm gonna tell you straight up. I'm not gonna watch the movie. Actually, I lied. I have a little sister, so I might bring her to the movie. But um, should I'd watch that. I'd watch that. You're gonna watch. You're gonna watch The Little Mermaid as a grown man. You're gonna walk into the movie theaters as a grown man to watch the little movies by Little Mermaid by yourself. Who said? Well, I'm never going to a movie theater by myself. Why? Period. Why? Because I don't know. I just don't do that. I have enough people in my life that would like to go see a movie with me, so I feel like I don't have to go see. So, a movie so who are you going to see that movie with? I don't know. I'd probably see the movie with a shorty. Not my fault. Not a, I mean, nigga, it doesn't have to be a date. You can just see a movie with a show I mean, as a friend. You feel I mean, me? I'm, but it's like, it's like all, I have If you plans. hit me as a friend talking about, do you want to go see it? Well, <laughs> I'm personally not going to hit you. That's why I said I'm going with a shorty. You feel yo, me? I, I would never hit your jack and be like, yo, fam. <laughs> Little Mermaid, though. Eight o'clock. <laughs> yo, yo, shit's how lit. You, how you going to show you up with that? Like, yo, you trying... You know, you co- trying to go see Little Mermaid, get some drinks after some shit. Like, what? <laughs> nah, I'm going to just be like, if it's a homie, I'll be like, yeah, well, homie, that's a chick. Because apparently when I when I say homie to some people, they don't know I could also be re- referring to um, a woman. Yes, so, we have female friends, people. Yeah, yeah. so if it's, a f- if it's a friend, I'm going to just be like, you're trying to go see Little Mermaid. And if she would, if she would, if she not, she not. Like, who cares? It's like I have plans to go see Lion King next week. I have no idea who I'm going with, but My I'm gonna make thing, sure I see that. That's shit. different. That's different. Little Mermaid, though. The only reason I would ever go, my little sister, support Halle Berry because that's the breaking news. Halle Berry is the first black actress. Halle Bailey. Bailey. <laughs> Halle Berry. Bailey. She's like 50 years old. My fault. My fault. <laughs> Halle Bro. Berry Yo, is like mispronouncing names. <laughs> Haley Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> Halle Halle ba- Bailey. Haley, oh, yo, I'm fucking up. <laughs> Halle Bailey. I'm sorry, Halle. Yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Halle Bailey out here, you know, getting the first African American role as you know female actress in a Disney movie. <laughs> <laughs> Or oh, actress, what? What did I say? <laughs> you said, you, nah. You said the first uh, African American actress to be in a Disney movie. No, no. All right, okay. you feel me? All right, all right, You know what I meant. Yes, You know what I meant, though. The Ariel was, was never star, played yeah. by a black woman before. I got you. Ariel was never played by a black woman I'd be before. Too fast. So now, I guess why you got me? I got you. Um, so now the Little Mermaid is 
by um, Halle Bailey. If you don't know Halle Bailey, she's one half of the singing duo Chloe and Halle. Um, they performed at the Super Bowl. They're signed to Beyonce's label. They're on the Freeform show Grownish. Um, it's just the sister she duo. Her oh yeah, it's <laughs> just. Her oh bag. yeah, they're killing it. They're killing it right now as a duo. And now that they got this Disney role, well, that ha- now that Haley's doing this um, Disney role, yeah, she killing it. So shout out to her, yo. It got it has a lot of people upset for some reason. Yo, I don't know why. Like, there's a lot of Caucasians that are just out here. Just yo, I saw on Twitter there was um, what's it called? A poll? Not a poll. A petition. Mm-hmm. To sign, like it had five thousand signatures. It's a position to send to Disney to remove her as the star of what's it called, uh, the Little Mermaid. And I'm like, yo, Disney's been around like sixty years. Not once has there been a star African American lead role to you know play what I mean? Ariel. Yeah, to play Ariel. So it's just like, y'all can't let us have one. Facts. One. And hey, listen y'all here, are yo. ignorant, but listen here. But that just really exposes a lot of the people out there, like the people that actually think that way, and are like, why is she? The Little Mermaid, like that, feels some type of way about it. They're getting exposed. Yeah, and I'm gonna tell y'all like this: if the Little Mermaid can't be black, Jesus can't be white. <laughs> Yo, because Jesus isn't white. So <laughs> the Bible says. I'm gonna just when say the Bible says it. We're not even gonna go be like, be like, Yo, the Little Mermaid was white, so. The Little Mermaid should be white. Yeah, Yo, you about to get well, the show canceled. You about to get the show canceled. You about to have people write a petition. Get the Earth product about off the air. Your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Since we want to talk about race and shit. He was not shit. a white man who with else? blue eyes. Who, like, else, who no. else is supposed to be white? Um, there's mad people that's supposed to be white that isn't white. Like, like apparently Santa Claus has to be white. Um, who... <sighs> I just can't think of more. But y'all get the point. You feel me? So anybody out there, if you're listening like, yo, Disney's fucked up for making um, The Little Mermaid black, just ask yourself, yo, it's fucked up that you still believe and continue to spread the message that Jesus is white when he, in fact, was not. If you're yo, religious, come you at me. you know how many people <laughs> would shoot you for saying some shit like, go down south and say that. That Jesus wasn't white? Yeah. <laughs> There's some evangelicals down there, bro, that will hey. for saying some shit like that. It is what it is, though. You know. It is what I'm just. We're yeah. just stating facts, right? Shout out to Lord America. Mermaid isn't black, right? Yeah. So course. we're just stating facts. I mean, <laughs> we're stating facts. Mermaids don't exist, so I this mean, movie shouldn't be a thing. Mel Gibson shouldn't play oh, Jesus wow. in Passion wow. of the Christ wow. if, if, if we want if we want to get like that. <laughs> like, I, I, I'm ready, fam. We're ready. Devin we're got the time this. today. This. Um, but yeah, I can't wait. Uh, proud of her, and hope she kills it in her role. Can't wait to see Lion King next week. Facts. That's Migos, dope. Migos is in there, too. <laughs> Migos is not in the Lion King. They ain't, they ain't play the hyenas? Nah, that was just a, that was just a rumor. That's I what remember we, when we were talking about that. that. I remember yeah. when we were talking about that. I was so gassed. Um, it's actually being played by uh, these other people. So it's going to... These other people. Well, yeah, because I don't remember all of them off name. I know um, Key is one of them, like from Key and Peele. Key is going to be... Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right yeah, you're Key's right. going to be he one of the hyenas. He was in the original cast, too, though. So that's deep. Huh? He was already in the original cast, though. No, I don't think so. No, he was. For The Lion King? Yeah. 1994? No, no, like, I mean like the like when they first showed like how the Migos was on. Oh, yeah, okay. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. Movie. yeah, I don't think the Migos were ever supposed to be on. It was just like a joke that people put out there. I saw a poster, but whatever. Because Migos being in a Disney film would be hilarious. A hyenas? <laughs> Bro, them as the three hyenas would have been perfect. Like, what? I could just imagine. They would just be ad libbing the whole time. <laughs> no, that'd be That's hilarious. why I'm like, Disney wouldn't do that. <laughs> Disney would be make some money off that. They'd get all the Migos fans just to go watch The Lion King. Yeah. Are you going to go see it? It's the, Bro, I, I was raised off that show. Like, of course I'm going to go see it. Yeah, I have to go see that shit. That movie. I, I that got movie. to. I remember. I, see that and I don't Spider-Man. know why, I but like, I, remember, I remember times in daycare, like, when I was just watching The Lion King. I think we did that, like, every nap time. Random as fuck, but, like, yeah. Like, Lion King, I grew up with that shit. So, best believe I'm seeing that next week. All right, word. Hey, that's lit. Date night. Um, Other topics that's going on in the world. Okay, so... Ladies, gents, we got to find out. We got to talk about this because like the block is hot. Next week. Nah, I mean, we can talk about it next week, too. Fox, we can talk Fox. about it next week, too. But now nah, the block is hot. You feel me? Um, <laughs> niggas are in their bags and shit. So we got to find out. Is it looking slow for a hot girl summer? 
I don't know. Women, I'm sorry, I don't know I'm the shit this. that we've been hearing if about. You think, if you think you a city girl, I'm gonna just tell you right now, it ain't gonna work out for you because women are too emotional to play this game with city boys. I used to be a city boy. I would know. You're not built like that. Don't do it. But um, if you want to be a city girl, good luck. I wish you the best. But my brothers are going to win. City boys all day. One, two, three. City boys. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, city boys. <laughs> I support my people. I support Shoot. my. I can't be involved. Yo, so we hey. just being shit, yo. We I, can't. We no. can't, have, we can't I end the shit. <laughs> we can't let shorties have anything. <laughs> they were trying to do something with this hot girl. Someone then the hot like, boys came in, and be like, no, 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 no. <laughs> so, so for real though, like, I feel like it is looking slow though. Like, we up like a serious lead right now. Mm-hmm. I, I saw a crazy video on Twitter yesterday though that. City girls really did, you know, close the gap. It was um some shorty at a hotel. I, it was probably fake. Yeah, it was. I, 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 oh, that I, makes me sad. That then it was never staged, mind. Y'all still the down. Shit. Y'all still down there. <laughs> shit, I try to give y'all some points. I can't help you. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, we gotta have like, yo, your ambassador Meg The Stallion got cuffed. Yeah. <laughs> like, yo, that right there is. And Young Miami is pregnant. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, what you got to say to that? JT's in jail still. Um, mm. Free JT, though. Free JT. Cardi's happily married. Cardi's Nikki, married. Nikki ain't doing shit. You know, she got she got impregnated mm. by Offset. Offset she let cheated Offset on cheat her. on her a bunch of times and took him back. And took him back. So, you know, <laughs> City Boys was like up by 30 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm, I feel really bad because, like, there's nothing they could do. What do you mean? Like, the women, the city girls, the women that want to, are trying to be city girls, like, or a hot girl or whatever, same shit. Mm-hmm. There's nothing they can do. Like, they can keep trying, but, like, it's never going to work but what out. are they, like, what are they doing? Like, what, if, what are the attempts that you're talking about? Like, there's nothing they can do. Like, to do what? To close the gap between city boys. Like, we're winning. Mm-hmm. Or not we. I'm not involved. They are winning. Mm. Would you consider yourself a city or a city boy, hot boy? Uh, I feel like I left that life a <laughs> while ago. <laughs> like, I was I was out the game for a minute, so I left. I, I, was, I was cold. You know, I wasn't a hot boy. I was pretty cold. I had my sweater on and everything like that. But I think that now, you know, we're in the beginning of the summer. It's time to... I take that sweater <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> Shit's about to get wild. <laughs> and just, you know, put me in, coach. <laughs> you win, boy. <laughs> uh, show, show them how you do. Yeah, but honestly, um, I don't know. I just love just seeing the whole shit online because... I don't know, people on Twitter are just so fucking creative. It's great. We'll be just scrolling down, and when people are just saying everything that they're doing and just, like, making it a whole score, it's so fucking hilarious. Like, like uh, fucking Don, my roommate, he tweeted out, um, fuck, what did he tweet? I think he said, um, this shorty just called me fine. But told me my ass was flat when she grabbed it. So then I was like, so she, so she, any girl, girl, yo, any girl coming up to me grabbing my ass. That's what I said. That's what I said. I was like, so she gassed you, grabbed you, groped you, and then dissed you. (laughs) You got compliment and dissed all within ten seconds. I'm sorry, but I should get a three from the way. Yo, I'm gonna give a quick shout out. I'm gonna give a quick shout out though. My man James Hawkins been on his city boy shit. Cause that man, his Twitter been killing me when it comes to it. Yeah. Like, yo, the shit he be tweeting about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've been tweeting some toxic ass shit. Shout out to you, huh? <laughs> toxic. And like, yeah, like people thinking that he's like telling the actual truth. No, no, he's just no, joking. He's joking I'm saying that for you, fam. I'm saying that. <laughs> so when people listen to this shit, they're not on your back. So thank you. I'm, so thank me later that I'm giving them the disclaimer. I'm see him at work Man's tomorrow. not I'll serious about this shit. You feel me? He's just fucking around. But yeah, he's he's funny. He's funny on Twitter, and I like this shit. I'm just happy, um, that like nothing has been done to me, like That's in an attempt for. A hot girl <laughs> in order for a girl trying to be a hot girl, like I you know, it means the like they is, do something to be a hot girl. I'm just happy nothing was done my, to me. You my feel thing me? is, like, as a male, if your feelings aren't involved, which they rarely are for us, like, unless you really like a girl, 
you're never really going to get hurt. You feel me? Like, what could she do to you besides physically hurt you to make you feel some type of way? Like, think about it. If you if you invited a, a shorty over or she invited you over, you hit or some shit, right? And then she proceeded to kick you out immediately after. Are you upset? Nah, because I still beat. <laughs> Say those last three words. <laughs> say those last three and words. And it's crazy because, like, that's what that's what people say when, like, people be like, ah, what's it called? It's how your dick little, or whatever. Or it's how you didn't last My long. My dick everywhere. little, but you I'll still be like, yo, I beat. still beat though. <laughs> yo. Okay. And who knows? Okay. Well, like, what? maybe I ain't shit, but you ain't shit either because I ain't shit. And you let me be. Period. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, hey, I don't know. Life is like for some reason, people just living everyday lives and they ain't shit because they're living their everyday life. And As an that's why person. I'm just like, OK, when people tell me I ain't shit, I'm just like, OK, you know, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what side I'm supposed to be on. Like <laughs> people tell me I ain't shit. I, first of all, I've heard that so many times back in the day. Well, back in the day, yes, you weren't shit. You're a great man now. You're 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 grabulous. You're <laughs> grabulous. You're great. You're doing wonderful. You know, you're so uh, back in my uh, member of the Faithful Black Men Association. You so got your hoodie in the mail. You feel me? <laughs> You're doing great. So as I said before, like, yo, this, nah, like, can we go to the next topic? Okay. Can we go to the next topic? Like, yeah, I mean, what, were you about to just get into your bag? Was that why? <laughs> I'm about to say some reckless shit. I mean, I I, I feel like the sad. next two topics are just gonna be all reckless shit. I'd rather oh whoa, whoa the second one after this. Oh wow, all right. Uh, so the, I think these uh these topics all stemmed from um this conversation I had with my boys the other day. Like we were just out in the stoop, just like cutting the shit. Did I? And did you really put this as a topic? Yeah, I put all these as a topic. Put this as a topic. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I mean, hey, we what? can dance around it. Oh, no, 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 There's no. There's no dancing around ain't it. ain't no dancing around okay, shit. Okay, word. I was no. like, yo, Rich is in a different situation than me, so I'd understand if he wanted to dance around the topic. Nah, you feel my me? man is no bitch. <laughs> RSP 134. All right, so the conversation pretty much um, stemmed off how, um, like, people are tricking, you feel me? Dudes and females or whatever you identify. Everyone tricks, you feel me? Everyone is... I feel like any play... At some point in your life, you were tricking at some point. You feel me? And then facts. my question that I added into it was like, yo, why are all bad actions driven by ego? Because, because, because oh, actually, wait, yeah. now hold on. Because it's like, because you think about any bad action that could happen. Like, yo, like if you're, if you're a dude, for instance, you, you fucked around when you could have just kept it simple, when you could have just kept everything as l the least complicated it can get. But no, of course we chose to go the complicated route. Like, of course, um, somebody did somebody else dirty. Or, of course, you're doing something on the side that you shouldn't be doing. And why do we do it? Or why does anybody do it in general? It's because everyone's driven by ego. You feel um. me? Everything is an egotistical thing. You think about it. Why do, why do some people, um, well. I wouldn't say it's ego. I, okay, then go ahead. What would you say it is? Because like? I think it's, it's just, ego. So, <clears throat> I, I, like, I used to be this dude. Mm -hmm. like, I, I had a very big ego. And, like, knowing I could get away with shit, it's just knowing you can get away with it. That's an ego. That's not an ego. That's just, that's just principle. Like, if, <laughs> nah, think about it. Nah, nah, nah. nah, nah. Let me break it. Nah, because if I'm doing something consistently... Like, bro, the way I used to be, like, freshman year, sophomore year, college and everything, like, it was well-known. Feel me? Mm -hmm. Very well-known. And I still did. I was but still able you, to do what I want, you know, I wanted to do. Yeah, so if, if you're you gonna, didn't if you're know that you could, like, do that, like, if, if, there, was, if there was a doubt in your mind, the any of that The only reason I'm allowed happen. to do it, though, is because people are allowing me to do it. If no one was, you, you feel me? Oh. So it's basically, people are going to do what you allow them to do. I'm gonna take advantage of the situation if you let me. That's not my fault. That's your fault. And ego. I should never feel bad about that. That's ego. That's not ego. That's principle. You're going to get taken advantage of if you don't don't do anything about it. I think something. if your ego wasn't like that back in the day, you wouldn't think like that. I didn't think I didn't think I was a sh or I did think I was a you shit feel back me? Day. But I didn't like think like I could get I didn't think I could get any girl I wanted or I could do anything I wanted. Okay. It just it's just I did what I wanted. Regardless of the fact of how you felt, and why did you, and why did you think you could? Because do it that? made me happy. 
So it fed your ego. No, my happiness. Which led to your ego. I'm all right. Whatever. Okay. Does that I no? Got, does it not make I mean, sense? Like okay. okay I mean, I'm not thinking. I'm not thinking. Like word. I'm doing this because I'm that nigga. Like word. I'm that dude. I can do this. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not thinking that way. But That's what I think of when I think of ego. Like yeah, but like is that. Is that not all like true in your head though? Do you not think like, oh, I can do this because I'm that nigga and like I can get away with this and like, yo, everything's gonna be straight because like nah, it's me? Nah, blah, nah, blah, nah, nah. It's like sometimes I knew like I was not gonna get away with something, but I did it just because I didn't give a fuck about the repercussions or what would happen or how this person would feel. Straight like that. Like I just didn't care. Okay. I like one thing I feel like that bad actions are driven by is a person's selfishness, aka their own happiness. Because a lot of people like bad actions. Let's say um, scammers. They ain't driven by ego. They're just driven by the, the greed. They want to fill their own pockets. They don't care who they hurting. You know what I mean? So that's a bad action right there. We could go on for days about this. I'm, I don't think uh, bad actions are driven by ego. Some actions are driven by ego. Of course, obviously. But not all. Okay. All right. I, I can respect that answer then. If that's the case. Happiness. Um. But yeah, I thought everything was driven by ego because, for example, I think of when somebody gets done dirty, like, I know everyone has a conscience, you feel me? So I feel like in our mind, before we make a decision, we know what's the right thing to do, you feel me? Mm -hmm. But then, do we actually do it? Like, do we, like, do I do something because I think it's the right thing to do? Or in my mind, I'm like, yo... He's like, are these niggas stupid? It's like, it's me. You feel me? Like, I'm not, or, like, like, if I do, like, if I do this, like, nothing's gonna happen because it's me and blah blah blah. Like, if I, if I have that way of thinking, I'm just thinking my ego is gonna like just overcome. Like, my you ego is making me think I'm above everything. You yeah, feel me? You're above the situation, you're not gonna get in trouble for anything. Exactly. And then when life humbles you real quick, <laughs> when life humbles you real quick, then you're like, ah. That's when niggas get caught up, you feel me? Because, you know, they thought they could make it work. And then when they get ca- caught up, hot girls up by 10. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you don't care if you get caught up. Then it's just like, then you know, all right. And, all right, then I can right. see Tristan Thompson was your f- offensive coach. So I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> you had Tristan Thompson as an offensive coach. That's why you're cooling. Because <laughs> coach told you, hey, just take the foul. <laughs> coach said, hey, coach said, go for the flagrant. It's okay. Go for the flagrant. <laughs> go for the flagrant. It's okay. <laughs> go for the flagrant. Yo, you still starting next game. <laughs> Facts. Real shit. Facts. But like, nah, like happiness is another thing. Because when you said that, when you gave me that example, or just said that example, think about it. You're doing something because it's going to make you happy. Like your boy's telling you this shit, like word, gassing you up. But hey, but ultimately you doing that is going to end up making you happy. But I also feel like that happiness is temporary. Like All happiness is temporary. Damn, that's sad. That's a sad way of thinking. Yo, all happiness. That is so sad. Nothing, bro, that's why they say never get too high and never get too low because nothing is permanent. That's why whenever I get, like, humbled by life, I don't give a damn. Like, all right, and mm-hmm. this isn't permanent. This is going to affect me in a week, two weeks. Mm-hmm. If it is, that's, that's when I start stressing. Like, mm-hmm. only shit that happen, like that can do that is money, really. But True. I'm too young to really be stressing about that like crazy. Okay. So you feel me? So... I hear that. Okay. All right. Um, and then I guess the next question I let after that, because, yo, I was having... Uh, you were having a I was day. Having a, I was having a day with the homies. We were just talking because, I don't know, I think it's rare that I go back home to Malden and it's just everyone's there, so we're just able to have an open discussion. Um, yeah, real ahead. quick, camera on me real quick. Um, if you're watching this segment, drop your comments in the comment section about how you feel about this segment and what are your thoughts. Yeah, facts. About both these questions. Facts. The second one coming up right now. If you're listening on YouTube, SoundCloud, anything, if you're even if you just want to um, comment below on the IG, you can still drop your comments. Drop a comment any anytime you're listening because we'll always respond. Or if we don't respond there, we'll probably add it into the next episode. So, and yeah. I really want to know what y'all think about these com- like these two subjects. Like, I really want to know what our viewers think. Yeah. And I'm probably going to bring in both of these questions next week. So we keep oh, talking we about next week. Y'all don't know what's happening next week. Go find out next week. Um, next week. But, yeah. Um, the next com- topic um, 
and I wish a shorty was here so like they could just be an, another opinion but I guess you know two dudes can be like that for now and then we could have the conversation with y'all online when you guys make your comments all right so do we care about body counts personally yes no good wait you say yes no, no, I, you just asked me a question. Oh, I okay. Like, right, personally, right, right. I was like, yeah, so, personally. I'll go for it. I'll explain yeah. why I don't believe in body counts. Or I believe in body counts. I don't give a fuck. One, this ain't high school. First of all, if you're asking about body counts still, you're still in high school. Like, we're grown as fuck. Facts. I can't imagine you picking up a girl or talking to a girl, texting her and be like, so um, how many dudes have you fucked? What? <laughs> First of all, that's going to turn a girl off. And how would you feel if a girl kicked you with the same question? You're not going to want to answer that because... No one wants to give that information up because, A, it's yeah. either embarrassing or you're just going to look like a dog. One of the yeah. two. You and feel me? A, and that's a terrible situation to put yourself in. So, I, with me, I I learned to just not ask that question years ago and just go with the flow. Like, you, feel you know if a person has a high body count, if you just hear about them. It's that simple. Like, yeah. you don't, like, you know these things. Like, you know who is a hoe. You know who, who has high body counts just off rip because people talk names get around like it's very easy so you don't even need to go up to people and ask them if they have a high body count because odds are if a person has a high body count you know who that person is mm -hmm. and how they move mm -hmm. so i hear that that's why i feel i hear that definitely and i'm a grown man like <laughs> fuck i look like caring about a body count like yo you mind right now as long as there's no one here during me and you ain't get a train ran on you i'm okay <laughs> <laughs> if you got a train ran on you that's a whole different story but hey i would just hate to one day be scrolling online you know and then I just see some shit, and I'm like, damn, fam. It's like, that shit was on the low, cool, but it's like, damn. That, that shit, shit happened to me. I'm looking at Freshman that Freshman year, bro. HD, that's crazy. <laughs> but on um, Twitter. I called my ex cheating on me on Twitter. It was a video. And they put it on the TL? Oh, they didn't put it on. Oh, it was a DM? No, it was... My, it was on the my TL. Ex, was it? it was on the TL, oh, but my ex ain't posted, is what I'm saying. Oh, Damn, they put it on the TL, bro. That's crazy. Whoever that was, fam. When had I tell no you, remorse, when bro. I tell you, I was feeling some type of way, fam. I think I'd fight this man, bro. I, I came home. This. I came home from winter break to that. <laughs> Yo, um, that's what really humbled me. Oh, high school freshman year of college, I deserved it. I deserved it. It, it made me a better Damn. man. Thank you. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> but, all right, so you don't care about body counts, right? Um, Why don't you care? I don't care because, yeah, like, everything you were saying, we're grown. Um, I'm not expecting, like, first of all, um, I feel like when other people care about a number, once again, ego <laughs> i think that's an egotistical thing if you care about a number because i'm like yo fam no one you're not you're not you're not gonna hit a virgin every single time first of all that's like that's like that's either. so dumb that's Why so dumb want so, to hit a virgin like, every time yeah you shouldn't like fam like that's stupid you feel me use your common sense thank you um hopefully you're not r kelly but <laughs> um i think it's dumb because we're all grown People do it by our age, like I'm 22, you're 22, like by our age, especially in the college atmosphere, I'm going to be assume, I'm going to be assuming that you're living your best life. You feel and me? You fucking like, and no one is going to hold anybody up against that. Like, um, people have their own opinions about what the male count should be and what the female count should be. And I think that's stupid because if you're saying like, yo, a dude, it's cool if you rack up around 100 bodies but you want a shorty that has like under like 15 bodies or like 12 bodies and i'm just like yo that's so stupid <laughs> <laughs> like first of all fam if you were 22 and you've been through 100 i pray to god at least you were getting checked like every now and then because hey damn if i heard that i don't know how shorties feel about it but that's not that's not an indicator to me like Oh, 100 bodies? Yeah, I want that one because, you know, clearly you're doing something right if your count is that. If that's your count is that high. And I'm like, if First that's all, the if you're logic that people count, go through. If you're like, keeping no. count after that, you're doing it just for ego. Facts. If that's what, that's count, one thing I learned about body counts. Like, you only keep a body count really after like after a certain number or after a certain amount of time. You just stop counting because. I've seen lists. 
I, like people have lists on their phone. Yeah, I used to I used to have like, one too, but then it got to a certain point where it's like I don't really give a fuck about this anymore. Yeah. Like, I'm just living my life. Like whatever happens, happens. But one thing that I always ask people like that care about body count, I'm just like, okay, you care, right? So they tell you the number. What are you gonna do now? You feel me? I, I, <laughs> like so, it, like, what was the point? Now you just made her uncomfortable, and you just seem dumb. Yeah, you're because just in, like, what? Regardless of the number is high, let's just let's just talk simple biology. Pussy's gonna tighten, and it it's, it's gonna itself. tighten and clean itself like easily on a regular basis. Like, <laughs> I don't even know how else to explain. That's just like simple biology. So when people Female be like, shower. Uh, like one of the dudes I was talking to that day said, "Nah, I count to him matters because um." If it's like mad people that he knows, then it's like that's different oh, though. Blah, like, but blah, if you, blah. but then I'm, but then my way of thinking, it, I was just like, okay, think about it. If you are in a college environment, you feel me? If it's mad people you know, yeah, because it's like people you go to school with. Then I'm like, yeah, like, and I'm gonna fault the shorty because like, like your boys didn't tell you about her. No, like I'm not, I'm not gonna fault the shorty because yo, like. All my niggas are great guys. <laughs> like, my boys are great men. Like, so if I hear about a shorty that's, like, been through the... Like, well, I'm going to say that she's dumb? Like, no. These are some great dudes. I'm happy you didn't get hit by a, a, a fucking an ancient dude. Like, these are great dudes. But so, that, yeah. That but, right there. But just saying that, like, if I feel like... I feel like if I was just going to knock any shorty that had any type of interaction with any one of my boys, I don't know what I'm, like... I don't know what I'm shutting down. I don't know what opportunities I'm missing out on. Like, I don't know if they have the potential. They could be a really chill ass person. There's some people out there that don't even want to befriend certain people just because they heard they mess with their people. And I'm just like, yo, it ain't like sex ain't everything, fam. It's not. If you want to have, you know, do sexual shit with people, cool. But I feel like you should be able to just chill, be cordial with people. And not have their sexual history be a problem. That's my take. So, two things. You said, like, your boy doesn't, like, he doesn't, he, body counts don't even really matter to him when, like, they've been fucking his friends, right? I feel that because I wouldn't want a girl, like, that's, I would I would never want to be in a relationship with a girl that was with my boy first. You said, yeah, but or we're, like, we're not talking relationship. It oh, could okay, just be, right. like, anything in general. Beat, just beat? All right, that's different. I mean, then again, though, you would know because dudes talk. That's not, what I'm saying. Not everybody. But most of the time, like, you would know ahead of time, like, where dude hit that. I feel like people would only hit that if it was, like, wow, <laughs> not what I tr- meant to say. I feel like people would only, like, talk about it amongst other people if it's, like, if it's, like, a common thing. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not, not really, because you know how many times I've been in, I've been in college and just my boy would come through the door and be like, yo, I just came from some crazy, crazy box, like, yo. Oh, shit no. was fire. Like, you know how many times that's happened? It's just like, oh, shit. How was it? Word. Oh, shit. Oh, word. Hey, good for you. I'm, I'm, I'm happy no one has ever come to my door to tell me that because I would have slammed that door right in your Oh, throat. no. Like, I'm talking like, about, like, like, as they're coming into the room to chill. Oh, I was about to say, like, like, you nah, bothered like, me for not, that, fam? Nah, nah. You know, like, when your, your boy's all coming over to chill, it's like, yo, I got a crazy story for you. So I just, I, I, you know what I mean? Those oh, okay. types of stories. Yeah, like, I hear you. I hear you. I hear those way too often. I'm just like, oh, for real? Yo, that's crazy. I knew her. <laughs> Yo, I knew her. I knew her. <laughs> I knew her. Like, that's crazy. But um, another thing is, um, so you were talking about the friends, and then second of all, you were talking about uh, relationships, really. Well, not relationships. So what was the second even, part of your part? Um, I wasn't even talking. I was just what you could be losing out on just because you exclude the whole idea yeah, so, of anything um, going on. My thing is, like, the only time you can really only mess with, like, what your friend was messing with and like they used to like date them or something is if you ask for permission that's just a respect thing oh well i would never oh no if somebody used to date oh, nah okay. that's different okay. see that's a respect factor okay. you feel me that's i got nothing to do with like body count you feel me if you nah there have been times where people like people were like yo can i hit that I'm like all right I mean, yeah, I feel like that's a different. That's disrespect, that's, though. I feel like, yo, I, I dated this girl. You, yeah, like you that's a different conversation. Like, yeah. Well, it's like if it's your if it's your friend asking for permission, cool. I feel like me, I just would never do it at all. I would never ask that like, question. Like, well, I just wouldn't even like do it. It's crazy. Like if the thought is there, cool. The thought is there, but I'm not doing anything with that thought. You feel me? Um, because I don't know. I feel like there's a respect factor in there. Like, I don't know the history that happened. So, hey, if it's, like, years later, um, 
whatever time that may be. If it's years later, who knows? Maybe the topic can be different. But if it's recent, like that was a recent thing. Mm-hmm. She going to stay that, far, that's, far yeah, away. That's, that's you. That's I'm not getting into that drama, not doing anything. Like I know people that will like mess with other people's ex and they don't tell anybody and they just keep it on the low. And I'm just like, hey, if you Playing can fire. Yeah, I'm about to say if you can go to sleep peacefully at night doing that, then do your thing. But I just I, that couldn't be me. I couldn't do it. To be honest. So we both on a consensus that body counts do not. Yeah, they don't. don't. Give a fuck. They don't. And uh-huh. a lot of people watching, a lot of people are going to be thinking of ways that it does matter. And you better take that time to go in the comment section and let us know your opinion. Because, A. Roast me if you disagree. Facts. Please, by all means. I, I, will... I got a trigger ready. <laughs> we can get that. <laughs> I got the trigger ready. You feel me? Um other things going on or well, going back to like real world shit. So Jaden Smith opens a food truck to feed the homeless for free. You can only do that if you're rich. Yeah, but I'm not going to knock the dude cuz I'm not going to knock him. The I'm just saying, dude like, took yeah. his resources and he turned it into something good. So I'm not going to knock the man for that. I thought that was great. Apparently the food was vegan as well, so he's given Healthy shit to the homeless, for, bro. For I'd be free. heated. I'd be heated if I was homeless and someone was giving me <laughs> vegan food. I mean, what if I'm it was not nice? gonna lie. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna eat it regardless because it's free and I'm homeless and I need food. But like, really, you couldn't give me a fucking burger? You give me a hot dog. <laughs> you give me a hot dog. You give me a Great. I, I, I walk. I'd walk up to that food truck, get the food, look at it, give him a look, bite out of it, walk away. Like, yo, like. I'm grateful, but you know, Jade, I'll be like, like, I'm like, oh, you gonna give that burger to the next nigga? <laughs> you gonna give that vegan burger to the next? Nigga. <laughs> what is this shit? <laughs> but I think it's really dope that he did that. He also, um, I don't know if we ever mentioned it on the podcast, but he also kind of made like a water uh, uh, filter, for Flint, right? yeah, for yeah, Flint, yeah. like a filter, I a filter system, so people had like clean water over there. And I thought that was dope too. So the fact that Flint still doesn't have clean water, yeah, it's crazy. And of course, politicians aren't talking about it because There's you know you fucking you, feel me? you put all the bad shit into the poor areas. So we're not gonna talk about it because they don't want to do anything about it. You feel me? But yeah, I think it's dope that Jaden did that, and he's doing this right now at such a young age. It seems like he really is on his human humanitarian shit and he is aware that he got all this money so he's trying to do something with it and i can really fuck with i can really fuck with that uh this dude's message have you had a chance to listen to his album at all no i didn't even know he dropped an album yeah he dropped an album friday um called hip-hop r&b pop hip-hop Hip hop. Didn't a, see it when I was looking at the albums for some reason. Yeah. Uh, was it late? Like, did he drop it not at like twelve or something? No, nah, I think he dropped it at, at yeah, twelve. I that's when I looted it. Over it then, if that's the case. Yeah, it's called E R Y S. Um, Ers. Yeah, like his first album was Sire. So for the second album, he just did it backwards. Yeah. <laughs> <Smith>. <laughs> but it's <laughs> but it's really dope. Uh, the first album was dope, and the second album was dope, too. So I like it because the man, to me, hasn't made a bad album yet. Uh, it's really heat. Who's on it? I wish I had the money to make my album go on Apple Music like that. <laughs> you could. Other people are doing it. Other local rappers are doing it. You could, too. Yeah, I need, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the audience first before doing that. I'm trying to get paid when I'm on Apple Music. Oh, I hear Side that. note, by the way. Yo, can we just acknowledge that my beard is coming in grizzly right now? Like, oh, yeah. It's coming in great. You feel that? You feel that? Man. I'm not going to feel that, but <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> but yeah, so how many songs are on his album? Um, this song has, well, the deluxe edition has 20 songs. Oh, damn. The uh, standard edition has 17 songs. Uh, features include Tyler, the creator's Wait, on hold it. Up, hold up. He yeah. already dropped the deluxe version? Yeah, it dropped at the same time as the, yeah, I think that's like a streaming thing. Like, they try to oh, get more, more numbers you, I feel, based on that. I feel like you'd get more numbers if you dropped it, like. Weeks after each other, I like, feel you. No, no. But now you just dropped them both at once. I, I don't know. I think it's I played thing. only the deluxe version. But That's hey. what I did. <laughs> you know what I mean? But hey, <laughs> you do, your marketing person told you to do that, so go do that. I mean, it could be that could be for like in store shit for like what somebody buys because the standard really edition. Buy shit in store still. 
I guess. Because the standard edition, or if they buy it on iTunes, technically the standard edition is cheaper than the deluxe edition. So if somebody wants to buy his album on okay, like iTunes or something, saying, it would yeah. be the standard edition would, would be, be cheaper because there's okay. less music on it. You feel me? So it's like a streaming thing. Um, Tyler, the creators on the album, Trinidad James. He's alive? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's <laughs> alive? <laughs> and he actually didn't do bad on, on okay. the track. ASAP Rocky's on two tracks. He killed both of his features. <laughs> We're going to talk about him <laughs> after. And Kid Cudi was also on the album. I really fucked with the Kid Cudi track. I think I, I'm going to make that my vibe of the week. I feel like him and Cudi would be a great combo. Yeah, I think I'm going to make that shit my vibe of the week. Because that shit, I listened to that shit on the way here. And I was like, ooh, ooh, that Cudi, that Cudi vibe, yo. is crazy. It's crazy how much of an influence Kid Cudi has had on hip-hop. Because that shit, yo. That shit was dope. That shit was dope. Um, but yeah, I really recommend you listen to it. I think you might like some shit. On I didn't it. really like his first album, so you didn't? I, no, I, I don't like Jane's music. Oh, okay, it's weird. Okay, so you might not like it then. I I like his creative direction, so that's why I fucked with it. I, I fuck. I fuck I with like his respect, production. I respect his his like process and like the way he does it. But yeah. yeah, it's just not for me. He always got dope production too. Like yeah, I respect the beats. Yeah, just him. Like I, he's weird. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> Um, after that, let's see. I'm gonna need you to inform me about this topic because I only know a little bit about it. Okay, so ASAP Rocky was arrested, um, because he got into an altercation with somebody. It happened over in Sweden. Mm -hmm. Um, apparently, he was just like walking on the street, minding his business, and um, somebody tried to start shit with him. ASAP tried to be like, yo, like, cool it. Um, he tried saying cool it, but the dude kept like egging him on so they got into a fight in the street and there's a video of it fucking asap video <laughs> yeah asap <laughs> shit looked like he was in the wwe ring and he was like flying body he flew this nigga's body across the fucking so wait wait so like there's a there's a video of the entire altercation from start to finish yeah and i think only because there's a video i think only because there's actual evidence is why he's in jail right yeah now. i was about to say because like i heard reports that asap like was just beating on a kid or something like mm -hmm. for no reason whatsoever and i was like they definitely got video if they locked this man up like that makes no sense because yeah but i was gonna take the believe the celebrity over the regular person i'm sorry it's just always yeah it's but just i think what, just what happens but i think it's uh, the um the video itself is kind of what incriminated him because if there was no video man could have just snuffed the nigga and just kept walking you feel me but um, I think just because we saw it is the reason that he got locked up. So, uh, let me see. He's been in jail for over a week now, huh? Right? Yeah, they, he had a very, like, hard prosecutor over there. Like, the Making, prosecutor was, trying, like, he's trying to make a point. gunning him. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was, like, gunning point. for yeah. him. So, he's been in jail since then. Um, apparently, he's living in inhumane conditions. He in Sweden. Yeah, so when you're not America. when you're foreign and you're out of the country and you get caught up in something some shit like that, sometimes it doesn't work in your best favor because you you don't got you don't got your support system. You're not in your I own don't country. Think he's you feel in me? Main conditions, bro. Apparently, he is sleeping on um, he's sleeping on a floor mat in a cell that isn't cleaned. Um, apparently. He is. He doesn't have blankets. He's on a yoga mat. First of all, you really think they would let all that get out if it was true? I mean, if ASAP Rocky's talking to his people, he could be sharing that information. He's traumatizing it. How I many times has this man been to jail? Yeah, but he's in another country. That's the thing, bro. Sweden. I've, so like, I've, I've if seen he was YouTube in, if it was America, on, I've seen YouTube documentaries on Sweden prisons. They're not like that. We don't know, fam. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be over here and say like, "Yo, I'm just saying, Rocky's I'm capping just, on the whole situation." Because I ain't yo, the man's saying he's capping. I say he's just making it sound to be worse free, than so. what it is. Well, let me read the rest of um, what he says. Um, apparently, he's also in there with uh, his roommate or like cellmate, whoever's next to his cell, um, has mental health issues. So, like, f like feces. Um, is being hurled around and no one's cleaning. No one's cleaning it up. Okay, so that makes sense when you hear shit. All right. yeah, <laughs> that makes more sense. Yeah, right, right, so, right. so that's going on. He has to deal with like shit all over himself and like not over himself, but like in his area. No one's cleaning it up. He has to sleep on a yoga mat with like no blankets. And this is somebody who's literally just in the country. Um, I think he was just doing a show or something like that. 
Like he was there in Sweden for a That's, show, and then he got caught up into in, the shit. I mean, I don't think. I, I think if it happened in America, he mm, would be well, out by now. My thing is though, like you're in another country. That's the thing though. You don't know how they're going to act or operate. I mean, it's not like I he plans for that it. to go down. Just it don't just swing. Just don't fight the dude. Like it's all on video. Like you said, it, he's clear. Did he? Did he I don't started? know if he knew that the video that there was. But my thing, like you shouldn't. That's what I'm saying. And just be smart. You should mm-hmm. be smarter about it because you're in another country. Regardless, you don't know what the fuck can happen. Is mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Like you in America, you know you can get out in America because you got money. Mm-hmm. Sweden, you don't know what the hell's gonna happen. So if you do something, you get caught up. You don't know what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. But um, you said you, hey, you talking about the feces being thrown and everything. All right, word. That makes sense. Then his cell ain't dirty. He just, he just got a roommate throwing shit around. Mm-hmm. I mean, apparently ASAP um, Rocky. He even he even posted it on his own gram. I'm reading a caption right now. It says, so a few drug addicts are not my fans. We don't know these guys, and we didn't want trouble. They followed us for four blocks, and they were slapping girls' butts who passed. Give me a break. Um, then reading it, let's see. A judge clears the way for Rocky to be held for two weeks. Uh, the conditions of the holding facility are said to be horrific. TMZ ran a report early Tuesday citing sources in possession of direct knowledge detailing the allegedly dire conditions under which Rocky is being held. The report claimed the disease-ridden facility had Rocky using a blanketless yoga mat for a bed, eating just one apple a day for the first five days of his detention, and being held next to an inmate struggling with severe mental health problems. That inmate, according to the report, often slams his head against the wall and throws feces around the facility that is allegedly not cleaned up by staff. Um, they say I mean, the condition... in a mental institution, not in a holding cell. Like, what? Since then, a lot of um, artists have been protesting Sweden. There's a petition going around to try to free Rocky. Sweden losing money. I mean, hey, all, personally, I think Rocky should call Jay-Z. Cause what Jay-Z, is Jay-Z going to do in another country? I feel like whenever somebody calls Jay-Z and he gets the law, his law team out there, they always win. Unless his happened law team Uzi, is... Happened for Uzi, happened for 21, happened for Meek, I think... Yeah, I they think were all in they America just, where they have licenses to practice law in America. You can't bring your law team. You got to get a whole different team o- overseas. Yeah. Because they, they don't have the the license to practice law in Sweden. Mm-hmm. I, if they do it anyway, we do it over here, which I would assume you need a license to do that shit. Hmm. So, you know, he if you're going to hit Jay-Z, yo, you're going to take some time. Jay-Z's probably working right now behind the scenes. We're going to get an update. Yeah, I was about to say. I was like, I'm like, like always. I'm letting this take rock. Like, Jay- Jay-Z is going to do something. I'm letting that take rock. You feel me? But a lot of people have been protesting uh, Sweden, saying that they're not going to perform there um, in support of ASAP. And hopefully, all this shit just gets cleared up and my dude can go home. Because can- you don't want to hear people in these type of circumstances. You feel me? I hope he can go home, too. Because his last album was trash, so I know this is going to give him a, a lot of material and content for his next album. It's so trash. So <laughs> Bro, what do you think he's doing in there right now? He's probably thinking about bars, like, yo. Yo, he's man. behind bars. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's, he's behind bars, thinking about bars, like, oh, yo, I'm about to expose Sweden. How can I make this shit? How can I make money off this shit? Like, bro, if I'm him, I'm just writing shit down. I hope he comes home soon, Rock. Me too. Make I hope you week. come home soon. Testing was not, was not it. Yeah, Megan I had a couple of gems, jail but bait. they don't... Call it Jailbait. That's crazy. <laughs> Yo, call that album Jailbait, put the cover, you with a jumpsuit. Tell me that shit wouldn't be fired. No. With his pretty boy ass. <laughs> Tell me that wouldn't be fired. I don't know. We're going to find out. Hey, si, find I just out. want my credit. You, got, you heard it here first, Jailbait, 20, <laughs> 2019. <laughs> be a um, to keep up with the sad news, unfortunately. To and keep up. Arizona, man. yeah, because this is sad. Um, a teen out in Arizona was stabbed to death at a convenience store. And the reason they're saying is because he w- was allegedly playing rap music. We all know that's not the reason why the man was stabbed. He was even killed that, by a racist, of even course. Even if that was the reason, that's not a good enough reason. Oh, no, it's not. That's a terrible what? reason. Like, that's what the that's what the, the murderer said. Um, let, me, let me pull up an article so I can read that to you. But that's just some sad news. Like, the man's just living his life, and this dude felt unsafe 
And in a convenience store, he you, felt unsafe. You realize that doesn't make any sense because to stop someone means you have to go up to them. Oh yeah. If you were, if you felt unsafe, you're not even approaching me. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, what the hell is going on in America? Every single day, something new. Like I remember, I saw yesterday on Twitter, these two officers in Maryland. I'm pretty sure had some black kid tackled on, on the ground against a car. One of them shoots him. You you legit see this man get shot on video and die. And they're just looking around, and once they see the cameras, they realize, oh, they fucked up because mm-hmm. it's on camera. Mm-hmm. So I, the, the report said um, family members. Oh, no, no. Sorry. A little earlier than that. Hundreds of people, including a presidential candidate, spoke out on Twitter this week after a 17-year-old black youth was killed at a suburban convenience store, allegedly by a white man who was charged Tuesday with first-degree murder. The suspect has said he felt threatened by the boy's rap music. Family members told local media that Elijah al Amin would have turned 18 in two weeks and was looking forward to his last year in high school. Um, on Tuesday, let me skip that. Let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Blase, blase. Um, first degree murder. I'm trying to see what he said the reason was. Oh, okay. Michael Dunn, who is white, was later convicted of first-degree murder in, the, in that earlier k- killing, a shooting that erupted during an argument about loud music coming from a car carrying Davis and other black teenagers. In the Arizona attack, first responders discovered Alamin collapsed outside the a store's gas uh, Around a, a gas station and took him to the hospital where he died. Several people inside the store had watched him as he was stabbed in the throat and the back before he ran outside. How many times was he stabbed? Um, I'm not sure. It doesn't say. Um, officers found Adams nearby with a pocket knife and blood on his body. Police said Adams told the officer he had felt threatened by the rap music coming from Alaman's vehicle. He said that because he thought he was going to get off with that comment. That's entitlement right there. Yeah. Um, I apparently other news is saying that he has history of mental health issues. So of course, it, of course, they're gonna go the mental route. People always go through to the mental <sighs> health route in oh these type God. of cases. But we all know what it is. Man's racist. The man was racist. Of course, he saw somebody he didn't like, so he took actions into his own hands to try to do that. You can't just tell me you felt threatened by somebody. So for that, you're gonna. You fucking kill somebody like that's not that's not an excuse at all. Um, that doesn't make sense. And if that literally is his reason, if that's really his true reasoning, and he is known to have mental health issues, he shouldn't be walking the streets. If that if he if he truly believes that and that's what's ingrained in his mind, and he is known to have a history of this, y'all shouldn't have let him walk the streets outside. Because now look what happened. Someone's dead. That's a court case. You feel me? It's a court case either way. My family, yo, I'm suing the living shit out of anybody who allowed him to just walk the streets knowing everything that they knew about him. So, my condolences to Elijah's family. Um, I hope you take um, the justice route and get justice to the fullest extent in the law and then some. You feel me? Because shit like this, people thinking that they can just say that and get off with it. It's crazy. It is so crazy and something that just needs to be changed. All I say is all I'm going to have to say about this. <clears throat> give the family give the family of this kid 10 minutes in a room, a locked room with this man. Justice will be served. Yeah? Yeah. That's it. Give him 10 minutes. Yeah? Yeah. I guess that's it. Damn. Um... You want to move on to thing? Yeah, facts. <laughs> so, Let's go on to some happy shit. Hey, we're sports report. <laughs> hey. So, um, in breaking news, well, not breaking news, but uh, news as of two, three days ago, Kawhi Leonard has made a decision to join a team. And that decision was to join the Los Angeles Clippers. And the way he did that was essentially he told the Clippers, I'll sign with you. Only if you give me Paul George. Hmm. And you know what the Clippers did? Mm -hmm. They traded six first-round picks, Mm -hmm. Danilo Gallinari, and Shea Gilgis-Alexander to OKC for Paul George. And it it happened. So now Paul George and Kawhi Leonard 
are in are on the same team. Paul George finished top three in MVP voting, mm-hmm. top five in Defensive Player of the Year voting. Kawhi Leonard won Finals MVP, and he's highly regarded as the best player in the world right now. And they're on the same team at the moment with Patrick Beverly, who's also an All Defensive team, All Defensive Player. That team is loaded. Like, yo, they are going to be a nice team for years to come. Kawhi signed a three-year, $103 million contract, third-year player option. So, you know, he's getting paid. Paul George's contract is up in three more years. So, like, they're, they're together. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, like, Kawhi was debating between Clippers, Lakers, and Toronto. Everyone said the Clippers were out of it. I remember watching uh, FS1 first what was it called? Uh, Undisputed with Skip and Shannon, right? Mm-hmm. This man, Chris Boussard, went on there. And he was like 99% sure Kawhi signs with the Lakers. <laughs> 99% sure, he said. This man's sources were lying to him. Or he just <laughs> doesn't have sources. Besides the point, I just wanted to say, Kawhi, you did the right thing by yeah, not, jo- by so not joining LeBron. Because right think about it. like Kawhi, LeBron, Anthony Davis. That's not... Bro, I don't even want to watch I'm going to watch the games, but like, that's not... We all know what's going to happen at the end of the year. Lakers so, are going to win in June. So we're congratulating him. We're saying he did a great job. Yeah, he did a great job. Like, he... I hate you. <laughs> nah, but it's funny, though, because it's lit. I only bring this up. I only bring this up because it's lit. The NBA is finally like, we don't know who's going to win next year. We always thought, like, all right, Golden State. Golden State. Golden State's going to win every year. Golden State doesn't have a squad that's going guaranteed to win next year. Anthony Davis and LeBron are on one team. Kawhi and Paul George are on one team. Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving on one team. The league, Russell Westbrook and Jimmy Butler are about to be on one team. If I'm going to talk about that after. But, like, the league is even. Like, everyone's even in the league. And there's not one person on top of the other. So, that's how I feel right, about things right now. And I'm just happy for how the league is going. Okay. And um, so, as I was saying, Russell Westbrook... Because Paul George got traded, you know, now he wants to get traded, and his destination is preferred destination is Miami. And I'm trying to think, Jimmy Butler and Russell Westbrook in Miami, I don't think that would go well together. OKC said they're gonna try to do everything in their power to acquiesce to Russell Westbrook's com- demands because you know he's been a he's been the player of the franchise, like he's done everything for them. You yep. know what I mean? Like stayed there after Kevin Durant signed an extension, like try to get more people to come there. He's been the ultimate pro and ultimate like leader in OKC. So they're just gonna try to do what's best by him. So um, yeah, they're gonna try to trade him to Miami. I just don't see it working because Jimmy Butler isn't a great shooter. He's an okay shooter. He ain't a great shooter. Russell is an okay shooter at best, and that team doesn't have shooting. And I feel like Russell and Jimmy would square the fuck up by midseason. First of all, because they're both headstrong players and stubborn as fuck. So. I don't know. I feel like the perfect location for Russell would either be um, Detroit with Blake Griffin and Andre Drummond because he'd be the lead guard, do whatever the hell he wants, or he could go to San Antonio with the Spurs, and I feel like Greg Popovich. Like, trade DeRozan for him, Greg Popovich would run run the world with him and LaMarcus Aldridge. With Russell? Yeah. Like, I feel like Greg Popovich could coach Russell, tell him to calm the fuck down, <laughs> slow with the fuck down, mm-hmm. think while you're, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Greg Popovich is the greatest coach in the NBA right now, so. But if Russell leaves, what does that leave, OKC? A rebuild. They have um, Dennis Schroeder. They have uh, a local kid from New York, Hamadou Diallo. They got Terrence Ferguson, Alex Sabrinas, Steven Adams, um, Shea Gilgis, Gilgis Alexander. Like, they got a bunch of young players. And then they get, they got six picks from the Clippers. And, like, that's a lot. First mm-hmm. round picks, too. Mm-hmm. So it's like they have picks and they have and they're getting salary too because they're getting rid of all these big contracts. I feel like Steven Adams is next, by the way, because his contract's twenty five million. Mm-hmm. So gonna get rid of him too. So I feel like OKC is gonna restart and rebuild. And it's crazy how OKC started this decade, twenty ten, with James Harden, Kevin Durant, and Russell Westbrook, and they're about to end the decade with none of them and no championships to show for it. That's wild. Yeah. That's wild. But it is what it is. Hmm. Sam Presti, do better. Um, Have you been seeing the summer games at all? Any summer league, summer yo, I want to say Celtics look really good in summer league. Like Carson Edwards, like uh, the second round guard, 30th, 33rd pick. That man is a scorer, bro. He went 5 of 7, 21 points last game, and he was rushing the heat. Like the summer league team is 2-0 right now, I'm pretty sure. We beat uh, Philly and Miami. 
And the, t- and the rookies are looking pretty good so far. Grant Williams, I was talking a whole lot of shit about him. I see why they picked him. He's the ultimate like professional. He he does whatever the team needs to win. He doesn't look to score. He doesn't look for his own stats. He does whatever you need. He's in the right spots. He's a smart player, great IQ, big body. He got a nice little shot too. So he's proving me wrong, and I'm happy as fuck. Tremont Waters, the last pick we had, he's doing his thing too. He's being a nice little four general. He's only five eleven, but he's getting to the rack. He's shooting like he's giving, getting good passes and everything. So mm-hmm. doing really well. And uh, Taco Fall, seven seven. Bro, he just he just stands there, bro. Yeah, I saw he a video of him uh, him just like dunking and not even having the to jump, jump. Just going to tiptoe, bro. <laughs> he just, he <laughs> really just be, bro. I remember I, I saw a play with Tremont Waters. His man had nowhere to go. He saw Taco. He just threw it up. <laughs> Taco just like this. The dude jumped with Taco. Taco didn't jump. He just put his arms up. Mm-hmm. I'm like, wow. You think he's starting in the league? Yeah. Oh hell no. Oh okay. Because he's too like he doesn't have any moves. He's slow as shit. First yeah, of all. he's like, literally just a giant man. Exactly. But <laughs> this is the one thing I have with Taco Fall that fucks me up. He played 27 minutes in the summer league game and had two rebounds at seven 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 oh. six. Sheesh. What the frick are you doing? Twelve <laughs> points, two rebounds. You just running up and back and up and down for cardio. That's mm-hmm. all you doing. Like what? It doesn't make any sense. Like you, let me be seven seven. I'm grabbing every single board. Mm-hmm. But anyway. I think the Celtics are going to put him on their team to just because he's 7'6". We already we talked last week about uh, the Nets, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, great. I wanted to make sure we didn't miss that. What do you want to talk about the Nets? Like, no, I just didn't know. If I've only been paying attention Kyrie to this. K- KD yeah. going there. I've been only paying attention to the Celtics Summer League team because mm-hmm. that's really the only one I really care about. I don't care about all the other rookies mm-hmm. like that. But I will get you more information next week about the rest. Here, um, we talked about KD switching, changing his number to 7. I mean, what... Yeah, I don't we know didn't really talk. We didn't talk about it, but I don't know if these are important things. <laughs> I mean, like it was a big thing when I, I, AD was taking the twenty three and LeBron was going back to that's, six. That's that was different. a huge that's, thing for some reason. <laughs> LeBron I mean, going back to six. Like at the end of the day, I don't get it because like yo, it's just a number that you wear at the back of your jersey. Bro. Why does it really like matter? Like oh, that's a different LeBron. Are we going back to the? Are we going back nah, to? Because he LeBron. only wore six in Miami. Yeah, now he's wearing six on, on the Lakers. I mean, so. I, it's really no big deal to me, but I understand what you're saying. Like, I don't know why people are making it a big yeah, deal. Yeah, like, Change his number, word. Throw away your old jersey, get the new one. That's all it means. I feel like I'd buy 26 and not six. 23 and not six. I have the 23 jersey. I'm just going to keep it because I feel like in 10, 20 years, it's going to be legendary. Mm. Like, yo, he po- he was only a 23 from one year with the Lakers. Mm-hmm. That jersey is going to be something, like worth something. So are you curious to see how um, Lakers and Clippers, that rivalry – um, begins I can't wait to watch the, like how that wi- rivalry goes because do you think Kawhi it will be a rivalry? One hundred percent. They share the same building. Mm-hmm. Kawhi, you got to think about what Kawhi Den- Leonard did. He did some evil shit. Damn. He doesn't go with the. He doesn't go Bro, with like free agency crew. started on Sunday, right? Mm-hmm. He made his decision on Friday afternoon, Saturday, Friday after Friday night, going into Saturday morning. Bro. And I heard that fucked up the Lakers because yeah. this is wh- this is why I say he's evil. He told the Lakers, Clippers, and Toronto to wait, save their mo- save it, their money for him, right? Hmm. So the Lakers lost out on so many free agents they could have signed Steph Seth Curry. They could have gotten um, Enos Cantor probably. They could have gotten uh, who else? Like Delon Wright. Like there's a mad there's a mad free agents they could have got, mm-hmm. but because they waited for so long. Like Marcus Morris, for example, another one. Mm-hmm. They waited for so long for Kawhi's decision that they had to get lesser free agents. I yeah. mean, they still got a nice close team. Like, don't don't get me wrong. They still got Demarcus. They got Avery Bradley. They got Danny Green, et cetera. But they didn't get Kawhi. So they had to settle for all these lesser pieces while mm-hmm. they were waiting for Kawhi. And Kawhi knew exactly what the fuck he was doing the whole time. Because he called the Clippers first night. Get Paul George for me. I was about to say, I have a secret meeting with you Paul George. Like, that's some evil <laughs> shit. Man flew back to Toronto just to get their hopes up. Fucked up the, the, fuck the league. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, yo, Kawhi is a, like the silent assassin. And Facts. I respect it. Facts. I have nothing but respect for him. Facts. What it do, baby? Yeah. 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 Yo, what do you know? <laughs> that's a fact, yo. Got in there, fucked up. Yo, I remember... Because um, there was, like, some tweet going around saying Kawhi Leonard is waiting to listen to the Revenge of Dreamers 3 before making up his decision. And then the album dropped. And, and then he, he made, made his decision. decision. And I was like, no fuck you. <laughs> I was like, Kawhi isn't out here like Bro, that. Bro, it was crazy because I, I got the report. I got the breaking news. It said Kawhi decides to go to Lake uh, Clippers. 
legit two minutes later, Paul George traded to Clippers. Yeah, I was, I was like, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I looked at my phone. I a jaw drop like yeah yo, like, I, I, didn't see D, I didn't see paul coming at all <laughs> like yo if you think about it the M- this nba offseason has been the best like thing to happen because it's like yo without it this summer would be boring as hell mm. like i didn't watch no baseball all-star game yesterday i'm sorry not sorry <laughs> <laughs> i'm not sorry. derby wasn't your league wasn't up your alley <laughs> mm, yeah nah, not for me i hear you but um last thing on the rich sports report before you get into music so we uh one more, one more month until the NFL preseason officially starts and everything. Gronk has retired, mm-hmm. but he was caught. He was seen working out with Tom Brady last week. Do you think he he'll, he'll come back at any point during this year? No, nah, I think he was just doing that probably just to help out. I feel like he retired. He's on. He's still in his twenties. He's twenty eight. Yeah, but once you, I feel like once you retire, like bro, you know how many people come back. From, Brett Favre came back for retirement three times. I'm pretty sure. And how'd that treat him? He won every time. Like he, oh. yeah, he treated him well. He got picked up. He start. He was a starter every time. Went to the playoffs almost every time. So like, can't hate on the man. Yeah. But like for me, I think like Gronk's only twenty eight. I feel like he's gonna have so much free time on his hands that he doesn't know what to do with it. Mm-hmm. And I feel like he's just genuinely going to miss playing football because like he's the man when he plays football. Like True. you know how much love he gets. True. You don't get treated the same when you're retired versus when you're playing the game. And I think that's gonna have a big impact on him. And he just likes that feeling. So mm-hmm. I feel like around like week four, week five, Gronk's gonna be like, "Hey, big head. He <laughs> wants to hey, the hey, hey, big head. Hey, how Bill. you doing, Bill? Hey, Bill." Hey, Bill. You what it do, me. baby? <laughs> hey, yo, Tom. Hey, yo, Tom. Can you make this happen? Man's gonna be like hey, Robert. What do, baby? Yeah. Yeah. Man, go right. pick up the phone. Like, hey, yo, Tom. Can you talk to Bill for me? Facts. Like, yo, real shit. And that's how I feel like it's gonna happen. But I want Gronk to come back just so we win another Super Bowl. Yeah. And be spoiled, but eh. I mean, I just hope whatever happens. I just like all of our Boston teams are clearly doing well. It's just the Celtics. We just have to make sure. That, They're doing um, high. They'll be all right. Yeah, we got to make sure they'll be all right because I got to make sure Kemba fits into the system well. You feel me? Because we were doing good and Kyrie was taking us somewhere and then Kyrie kind of fell off. But hopefully Kemba can kind of step up in there and just do work with the team the way Kyrie was supposed to. You Kyrie a burn. Yeah. But yeah, that's down for the Rich Sports Report. Bang. All right, cool. Now let's get in, into new music. We already talked about the Dreamville album. We already talked about Jaden's album. Um, not much else new music has dropped. There's been a couple of tracks, though, a couple singles. So Shay Crew dropped a single. I talk about him all the time. Uh, he dropped a single called Crush. Pretty fire. Um, I, 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 I'm I, just going to keep saying it's fire. Y'all, y'all should go check it out. Um, Shay Crew, C-H-E space E-C-R-U. Hometown kid, um, always gonna support a kid. So yeah, go check that out. Next single that the both of us got to talk about is the return of Cousin Stiz. We said Cousin Stiz what return? out the game. What return? Well, just like this is his attempt at a comeback. So he left. Right? We talked about how we didn't see any new music from Cousin Stiz. We've heard from him a while ago Trash. from Twitter that his album was done, but we just didn't hear anything. Now over the weekend he decides to drop the first single. I, I don't know if say, this yeah, is this, if this is like you know how artists be dropping singles from yeah. their albums like every week. Yeah, I swear to God, if this, this is on the album, this is on the album. This is def because this is the, the label's attempt at a radio single, which is why I don't like the song. What are your you feelings can't make about him this song? Mainstream. They are trying to. He's not a to mainstream con- rapper. He's like, you're on going a mainstream to, label. They're going though. to fuck up his. They're going to fuck up his image if that's what they're trying to do. He's on. He's on a mainstream label, so they're trying to make him go. Where is he? He's in uh, RCA, so that's like the same label as like Bryson Tiller, SZA, Chris Brown, like, and all of these people are like big acts. So they're trying to make. They're not all mainstream though. They're all mainstream. They're not on the radio. SZA was when Love Galore dropped. That was one sh- song. Yeah, but you, she blew up as soon as she got signed. She got signed. It was this album right. that made her blow up. Yeah. This shit right here. Facts. Facts. <laughs> this man yeah. had to hold it inside. <laughs> okay, all right. I mean, people can't see, but there's a signature right there. I like I like I like showing that off. But um Y'all ugly so, as I love, hell. I love Scissor. <laughs> yeah. I love Scissor. I love Scissor. Scissor. What's up? Um But, but not like He's just not like just the way he's his music has never been mainstream. Like it's never been the type to go mainstream. So I don't know I why mean, he would start this late in his career. 
because he is now signed. That's the he thing. The label, for like a year. yeah. And notice we don't get anything from him because he is when he was when he wasn't signed. He was able to just put music out whenever the fuck he want because it was like, all his own shit. I feel like now the label is in control of that. So in order, he has to, he has a contract. You feel me? I understand. So I understand he got what a, labels do. Yeah. He got a supply for the label. You feel me? So he got to make some type of bread because he works for them. So they're gonna try to make him a mainstream artist. Therefore, they're going to try to do all this. Like this, like this, a track with the City Girls, I would never expect Cousin Sis to make a track with City Girls. But Him's, if they're trying, if the label is trying to make him go mainstream, I understand exactly why they try to go for the summer radio hit. It him, just didn't him, work him out. Signing, him signing was probably the worst decision ever because it hasn't been the same ever since. It hasn't, but and I don't I'm think just, it ever will be. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really just trying not. to be hopeful because I don't want. I was happy for Cousin Sis when he got signed, so I don't want it to actually turn out to be that he's making a bad investment. Because, like, I mean, let's not knock the song completely. I feel like it do I well in a like strip club. I didn't like it at all. I listened to it a little more. I feel like it'll do well in a strip club, but I feel like only a, at a strip club. You feel me? <laughs> only at a strip club. Like Tiger songs. <laughs> yeah, you feel me? Like, I, I thought about it. I'm like, yo, this shit's so trash. Then I listened to the beat, and I'm acting like I can't just play it. And I listened to it, and I'm like... I'm like, yeah, I could see myself in a strip club, shorties on a pole, twerking and shit. And I'm like, okay, if that's the vibe, then I can see it. Bitch, I'm perfect, yeah. But round me, bitch, you perfect. Round me, bitch, you perfect. Stand yeah. With me, bitch, you perfect. This is definitely Laugh strip club. Oh, yo, Laugh I don't even think about it playing here in the strip club, but like, yeah. Yeah, just imagine. Like, imagine if you were in, like, Magic City or, like, ATL, and you just hear that shit. All I'm thinking is just, like, booties twerking on beat to this. No, yo, just on beat to this. At the top floor. So when I hear that, make it rain, trip, make it, make it rain, exactly. trip. Exactly. So when I hear that, I can see why the label tried to do that. Like, and I'm not going to say Cousin Stiz, like, did awful. Like, he did the best on that. Well, he didn't do the best he could do, but he, pro the label probably asked for something. And I think he delivered exactly what the label wanted, but it's not what we know Stiz for. So that's why we're like, yo, this is trash. Fans are loving they're it. Try, they're probably trying to rebrand him. Yeah, they're probably trying to rebrand him, make him into be like, he, that they're going to make Cousin that Stiz a city that, boy. That would explain the hiatus. Yeah, right, they, why he hasn't dropped anything? Because they're gonna EPs. make Cousin Stiz a city boy. They're not going to do that because this is this is a phase. Like this is only gonna be for summer twenty nineteen city boy hot girl shit, like hot boy shit. And that's why they put this track out because I think you can't I think, make him a city boy because then that's gonna be his brand. That could be him. I mean, hey, this is not him though. I know it's not, but it could be. Man's L.A. now, so we don't know what Stiz is. He left Dorchester, fam. He's in L.A. now. I understand. He's hanging out with different people. Uh, it's just, uh, hey, uh, he has I see a rebranding coming. I just hope it doesn't hurt the man's career. That's all I'm going to say about and that. And I feel like it will. That's all I'm saying. But, hey, I we can that. agree. We can I agree to that. disagree. Whenever the album comes out, I'm also hoping that there's dope features on it. That's a fact. Um, any other new music that came out? Um, I don't. I don't really think so. West Side Gun dropped an album, but I didn't really listen to it yet. I heard good things about it, but yeah, I didn't get into that. Uh, besides that, I think yeah, I think that's all for new music. Yeah, damn. So I guess we can get into reality checks, son. All right. So um, I'm gonna go first. So my reality check stems from just you being you. So my thing is. You should always prioritize being yourself and being an individual no matter what anyone's saying to you. And I say this because a lot of people will tell you to do things that benefit them or that are going to affect them in a positive way, but you don't really know, you don't figure that out until it happens, you know what I mean? Like you've ever had someone try to take advantage of you in the situation, like tell you to do something because it's gonna benefit you, but it really doesn't, it benefits no them. So I'm just saying, finesse I'm the finesse. Exactly, so don't get finesse <laughs> is really what I'm saying. Like yo, if you got a dream, don't let anyone try to brush that shit off. You tell you to do it some different way. Do it your way. You know what I mean? Be headstrong with it. So, I like, that's, I like my reality check short and sweet. So, I'm just saying, like, yo, don't let any, anyone influence you that you don't want their influence. Don't let anyone tell you you can't do anything. And just don't let anyone get into your head because only you know how real and how headstrong you are. So, just be your own person. Be mm. individual. I like that. I like that. I like I like these reality checks, and I like the doing the reality checks in front of the camera. Now, I feel like it adds a different meaning when you just oh yeah, look you at looking right into their soul. Shit, you feel me? Yeah. Facts. Um, for my reality check, let's see what can mine stem from. Um, I think 
so throughout the week, I've kind of learned that a couple things about myself, actually. And I learned that I'm not as cool with everybody that I thought I was. And when I say that, let me bring it back a little bit. I have this certain thing with um, how I talk to people, how I address people. When I feel like I'm really cool with somebody and like we're like homies or whatever, I think I can like talk however I want to talk. But I'm starting to learn that that's not really true because I guess people's ideas and understandings are different from your own. So I learned over the week that I'm too blunt for my own good. Um, I'm too comfortable with how I talk and not everybody is going to be on the same wave as me. So I think my reality check is just check your surroundings, know the situation and execute whatever you got going on, like execute accordingly. You feel me? Because I was hit with some shit and I was like, yo, I like. I wasn't even aware. <laughs> like, 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 yo, I thought, I thought shit was cool. Oh, hey, I thought we were all, I thought shit was you straight. Feeling this way. But then, next thing I know, I realize like the way I like the way I talk to people, it kind of sends off a different message or a different vibe that I just see it as regular for myself because I talk to everybody like that. But now I'm starting to learn that other people don't pick up like that. So I've just been learning to take a step back and um just watch what I say. So yeah, that's my reality check. That was pretty much the show. Yeah, so we lit. Uh make sure all of you guys subscribing. Of course, subscribing on if you're on the YouTube, if you're on the audio platforms, make sure you're following us. Putting on those notifications. You feel me? Making sure you're sharing it to your stories whenever we post something, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And all that shit. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we lit. Next week's gonna be very lit. And it's I'm not gonna announce it, but when when we do it, it's gonna be so lit and it's gonna be so dope. So, um, it's been your boy DME. It's been your boy Cozy Rich. And you have been listening to the Urban Products. We will catch y'all next week. Love. This album's overrated. Ha, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs>